What is this place? Looks like coal. Looks like a concrete wall. I can see some light trickling in through the small hole in the center. Piece of coal. So did my hand. This kind of feels like South. I have decided that this way is now North. Drawing on the wall. Who said that? Something has changed. There is no reflection. A large gem is encrusted into the frame of the mirror. It's stuck. Once upon a time, there was an old mother pig who had three little pigs and not enough food to feed them. So when they were old enough, she sent them out into the world to seek their fortunes. The first little pig was very lazy. She didn't want to work at all, and she built her house out of the pity of strangers. The second little pig worked a little bit harder, but she was somewhat lazy too, and she built her home from the lust of men. Then, they sang and danced, and played together the rest of the day. The third little pig worked hard all day and built a white little house in the center of town. It was a sturdy house with a fine fireplace and even a chimney. One day, a wolf happened to pass by the city where the three little pigs lived, and he saw the cardboard house, and he smelled the pig inside. He thought the pig would make a mighty fine meal and his mouth began to water. So the wolf knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me in, let me in. But the little pig saw the wolf's big paws through the rain, so she answered back, No, 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 not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Then the wolf showed his teeth and said, Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. So he huffed and he puffed, and he blew the house down. Then the wolf opened his jaws very wide, and bit down as hard as he could. The wolf approached the second pig's house, hunger still pounding in his stomach. Stunned by the image of her sibling's fate, the second pig froze, unable to move a muscle, unable to run. Please, sir. I will do anything you ask. The scared little pig said. But in one big chomp, the pig was dead. The wolf fled down the street and he almost got caught. But he made it to the white house and slammed the door shut. He startled the third little piggy and she was very frightened. She saw the wolf wanted to eat her. The wolf had an appetite that was hard to quench and he had worked it up even more being chased all over town. Now he could smell another lovely feast, the third little piggy, caught in her own house. The exit was blocked. She ran upstairs into the bedroom, locked the door and climbed through the window, up on the roof to escape her fate. So the wolf climbed the stairs, knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig. Let me in! Let me in! But the little pig heard the wolf's murderous tone through the window, so she answered back. No, no, no! Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin! The wolf snarled and said, Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down! Well, he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but he could not blow the house down. Alas, he was so out of breath that he couldn't huff and he couldn't puff anymore. 
so he stopped to rest and thought a bit on what to do next. This was too much, the little pig cried and screamed with rage, catching the tweets of her siblings' fates. She swore she would end him, but how? He was guarding the bedroom door, and the roof was way too high. Then it struck her. She could come down the chimney and attack from behind. But while she was climbing onto the roof, the wolf had made up a blazing fire and put on a big pot full of water to boil. Then, just as the little piggy was coming down the chimney, the wolf leapt from his hiding place and pulled off the lid and plop, and fell the pig into the scalding hot water. And that's the story of how a poor mother pig lost her precious piglets. Okay, fine. The youngest two she already despised. Lazy and frolicking. Nothing like their mother, who had success and a right to live her own dreams and live her own life. But her eldest piglet. She was perfect. Why did he take her too? It was so unfair. filled with water. A pile of rocks and concrete. They are stuck. I will need some leverage. Looks like I've managed to loosen one of the rocks. Almost got it. Got one. That thing isn't me. Why would you hurt yourself like this? Be silent. You are not me. Oh my god. She is still there. So are you. Ouch, that's sharp. The rock also dislodged the gem a bit. I bet I could. Gotcha! Solid, no budge. That thing isn't me. don't wear clothes. Then why are you dressed? Give me that. Hmm, you like what you see? She won't let me take it. What is going on here? Who drew this? It looks like it continues into the wall. It is too dark to see in there. Nice. Now to light it. Torch won't get lit unless there is a fire going. A huge clock. A huge clock. We have played this game before, you and I. At its zenith, the sun will pierce the veil. What does that mean?
The glass works as a magnifying glass. Perfect for lighting up dark places. It's a dead end, but there's something in there. A teddy bear! It's spinning too fast. Minute strikes 11. Poor girl was only seven. I had to think of myself. Solid, no budge. It's spinning too fast. Hour strike six. Time for her evening fix. Stupid junkie. It wasn't my fault. I'm sorry. Oh, Annabelle. I can't. Sweet, sweet Rebecca. I should have called. Oh, Millie. I can't. How romantic. Whoa! I found a ring in one of the glasses. No, that won't work. Now this is a ring worthy of her. All you ever wanted was to feel appreciated. You would have made a wonderful mother and wife. No, stay away! Sniff, sniff. You knew this would happen. But you kept running. I can feel the evil pulsating from it. All you ever wanted was to feel safe. Here you go. Mr. Biggleboss will keep you safe. Forever. Don't touch my girls! You didn't even warn them. Not even your precious doctor. That knife! What is a monster without a weapon? A weakling. It's him. What is a monster without its mask? Only human. You think I'm a monster? You forget. I am you. I know what you are. So be it. Dead. Why couldn't you just have given it to me?
Is this it? Am I finally free? So, what's the verdict, Doctor? Psychotic depression and paranoia. Are the rumors true? Did he really kill all of them? Yes, I'm afraid so. I... The whole family, that's horrible. Have the police found out why? FBI tried to interview her a while back. I killed... And... Nothing. I Will killed snap them. out of it? Maybe, maybe not. Lost in your mind is a labyrinth not easily escaped. Coffee? Sure. A piece of coal. It suited my hand. Thank you.